Hey guys, this is going to be a really short video. Um, I finally tuned this thing to get it sounding, you know, half decent. It took, I don't know to you, a little while. Um, longer than I thought. It's got some play, um, because the washers that came with it were kind of scuffed. Uh, it's got some, some wiggle. It's not horrendous, but, um... It sounds pretty good. Uh, I fixed the slap um, as well, the blade, the blade slap, um, and after doing all that, it is, I mean, I, I would say it's noisy, but that's just because it's, uh, that's because of what I'm comparing it to, which is like the AS rep and the, uh, the Cygnus clone, and honestly, this thing is really grippy for an aluminium clone, um, I've just been spending a little bit of time with it, um, I want to kind of get some more thoughts on it because after tuning it, after getting past that hurdle, this thing is surprisingly uh, a really surprisingly competent flipper. It is, however, insanely sharp. I was literally putting it back together, if it will focus on my hand, and uh, I think I have like. Oh, can you see it? I know, but I have a cut on this finger and this finger, which didn't draw blood, and then a cut on this finger, which really did. And this was, literally, all I did was, like, I was holding the blade. I was holding it like this. I was holding it like this, right? So my, my hand wasn't even on it. And it's just the slightest bit of pressure. So this thing comes insanely sharp. And I even checked this against uh, original knives and um, the tip. Come on, focus. Against the original knives, this tip is genuinely, like, insane. Like, I don't know how well that's picking. It's blurry because my phone hates me. But uh, the tip on this is absolutely murderous. And it does sound pretty good. It's got this really nice light ring. It's really not annoying at all. It's a very subtle ring. Uh, and it's, it's a pretty decent... No why, why aren't you focusing? Um... The life plate is a little scary. Um, balance is probably not for everyone as well. It is. It is really light. This thing is really light. Like it's. It's genuinely making me question: Is it even like sub a hundred grams light? But it's. It's, it's near a hundred grams. That's for sure. Um, and it's a surprisingly good flipper. And also the blade is like it feels just like really nice. Like. Okay, camera, please. It feels, it feels really nice. Like it's super soft to the hand. And also the purple here, it is genuinely beautiful. Um, it is, it is surprisingly, surprisingly beautiful. I wish I could sort the play out. What I might do is uh, in the future, I might get some custom washers and uh, and some bushings. Maybe not some bushings, I'll just use the spare bushings that are in there. Um, and convert this onto standard, like a standard washer system, rather than floating. Really not a fan of the floating. Uh, the tang pins are surprisingly good. I'm also surprised that it comes with spare tang pins. I didn't even have to swap any of the tang pins out. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't bang on the, the the inside of the handle anymore, which is is really nice. Um, I also don't have this tightened down, so I don't know how long the little tuna how on it will last before I have to retighten the pivots, but I think it should be all right. The one hardware is usually pretty solid. Um, I've actually not been treating my bell songs, I should say. Um, with uh, like like Loctite and stuff and Teflon tape and all that stuff. It feels kind of odd in the hands. Um, I'll see if I, what I can do about the, these tolerances. Um, if there's nothing I can do, then so be it. But if there is something, then I'd like to do that. Um, but yeah, I'll be fiddling around with this in the next kind of coming weeks. And uh, yeah, this was just a little video to show you what it does actually sound like. And uh, that it's it's actually not as, as horrendous as uh, it might have come off in the first the first unboxing video. Uh, I will say those those first impressions, they were not they were not great um from this thing. But it is it is beautiful. It is really pretty, and I, I kinda just I kinda want it in my collection just because it's pretty. Um and on tank pins. It's pretty and on tank pins. And um yeah, that just makes it... 
yeah, it's pretty untangled, which just kind of makes it like something that I kind of want in my collection. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's that. And it also it feels small. It's it's not actually that small. I think these handles, I think they're pretty thin here. The taper is kind of extreme, but um, yeah, I don't know. It just feels small. Um, but I do like it. I I do actually. It's it's slowly growing on me. I need to spend a lot more time with it um to see how I truly feel about it. Um. But yeah, genuinely, it's a very cool knife. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I have to say for that one. So uh, check, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the stuff in the description if you like my music, or if you want to request beats, or if you even just want to you know talk to me on Instagram. Um, yeah, check all that stuff out. Um, I really appreciate when you guys comment. And obviously dropping a like helps out with the algorithm, gets more people, kind of gives me more motivation to really be on top of my schedule, because obviously I've got a pretty hefty schedule. I'd say I'm probably one of the... I'd say I'm in the top five most frequent posting battle song YouTubers. Uh, you know, doing three times a week. Um, I guess the only people who post more than me would be like battle song flipping and maybe Blade Bias who do it every other day, which I've considered doing every other day. However, uh, sometimes I just generally don't have that content. And I think three times a week is manageable with my other um, responsibilities. So if I, if I, if I can fit more than that, I, I will. Uh, if not, you'll you'll know. But uh, anyways, yeah. Thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.